Excessive heat continues in the interior northwest and the deadly heat wave is overwhelming hospitals there in the area. We're going to take a look at the maps and what's going to continue and what the uh, NOAA Weather Service's warning is concerning this. This is a heat dome over the area. It's just stagnant there for the past week and it's going to continue. Dangerous record-breaking temperatures scorching the region over 30 degrees Fahrenheit over the top uh, normal weathers. These are breaking, these temperatures are breaking all records, of course. Now, the blistering heat wave battering the Pacific Northwest. This is the Pacific Northwest, the US and into Canada. Uh, this week has already killed around a dozen people in the US, sent more than a thousand people to local medical facilities. Uh, as we know, a lot of people there don't even have air conditioning. I mean, it doesn't get that hot. Now, during a Wednesday briefing with cabinet officials, governors and private sector partners to discuss this heat dome and drought as well. And the next thing, of course, is wildfires from all the vegetation that will be totally dried up because of this. It's like a low oven temperature, 122 degrees Fahrenheit today. So President Biden told attendees in 2021 could be even tougher based on the weather patterns than the previous summer. Uh, he says, I know you all know this better than any other people in the country. The fire season traditionally lasts through October, but with climate change driving the dangerous confluence of extreme heat and prolonged drought, we're seeing wildfires of greater intensity that move with more speed, last well beyond traditional months of fire season, and it's probable uh, the problem for all of us. Uh, wildfires are not a partisan phenomenon. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. We are at NOAA and this is the area of the heat dome that we have. Of course it extends into Canada. The whole thing would be up like this, all over Vancouver, British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Alberta. Okay, this is the uh, warning by state. Excessive heat warning. Uh, as you can see, that deep purple, severe thunderstorm watch. Okay, red flag warning. Should we go by state? Let's go to uh, Oregon. Excessive heat warning expires in two days. Heat advisory issued today. Central Eastern Lake County and all these counties that they're saying down here. Excessive heat warning. All of this, of course, red flag warning. Northern Oregon, Cascades, Lower Columbia, Basin of Oregon, Central Mountains of Oregon, all of this. Southern Oregon, Cascades. Let's go back. I want you to see the maps. Where was I? Let's go back a little bit. Okay. This is the area right here. Spokane, 100, 103. It seems to be over this area. As you can see, it's getting hotter as you go up. So 110, 103, 110. Uh, should we go the next 12 hours, see what's happening? the same. The map is not changing. But anyway, the hazards. Hydrology, hydrologic hazards issued for the protection of life and property. Okay, temperature. Expected temperature in degrees Fahrenheit as we saw before. Uh, is the likelihood expressed the precipitation? I don't know if we're going to have any. Let's go to the sky cover. Okay, and uh, okay, these are the winds, of course. Wind directions, Friday, July 2nd. And uh, amount of precipitation, nothing. No precipitation. 
Nothing, it shows here. Nothing. Maybe the map is not... Uh... Uh, let's go to the Null School to find out what's happening with there. Null School. And let's go to our... Um... Uh, air, air, no, let's go to temperature, temperature, okay, that's the temperature that we have, I'll leave a limpy low for you for this, that, look at this, it's even in the Arctic, uh, this is what we read before, this is totally unusual, you know, in the, in the Yukon and the Northern Territories of Canada, they're seeing record temperatures there as well, and as you know, that's terrible because they have permafrost up there that's melting. But we also uh, have that, you, I wonder if they have that in Siberia. Well, they do have something here. Yakutia area in Siberia, it's not that hot, but it's, it's that area here, 34 degrees, 35 degrees centigrade. Permafrost is going to be melting there. That's why it's been going on lately and they've been finding all these woolly mammoths and... Uh, woolly foxes and uh, all these ancient foxes and all these ancient animals um, that they found there from, what, 12,000, 13,000 years ago? In fact, it's uh, so prom prominent there that they're finding all these animals that they, they're they thinking of cloning and perhaps uh, regenerating back into the earth. This is, of course, normal for this area here. And... Uh, this is where I am. What's the temperature there? It doesn't say, but anyway, it's about 40. Uh, we had 38 degrees Celsius. It's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But this is terrible. This is just terrible. The whole thing here is really unusual. This is an area which, um, well, look at Alaska. Even Alaska is, uh, as we said, 34, 32, 35 degrees, that's just terrible. And of course this here, 51, 43, what's that color there? Is that around there? 46 degrees Celsius, that's around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a low oven. How long is that going to go be, being there? This is terrible for the wood, you know, in these areas where you don't have that type of high temperature the foliage there, the type of uh, biodiver, even for the animals, I would imagine, is just terrible. Um, they're not used to such hot weather. So what, what's going to happen to the life there? The wood, the, 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 uh, the natural environment is not used to having trees, having, the trees are not used to having this temperature. They're going to they're gonna wither away, let's put it that way. Um, you know, in certain areas, for example, here in the Mediterranean, you have pine wood forests that can take hot weather and very little water, okay? And uh, they don't suffer that much in heat. I mean, they're used to it. But these things here, the deciduous forests of uh, North America, can't take that heat. That's just terrible. Uh, now, Noah, I don't know how long it's going to be sitting there, but definitely for the next two days. How, how will we change this? Let's go, go to region, view weekly, weekly view, okay. Weekly view, what's happening? Um, Friday, Saturday, uh, high, it's not telling us anything. High, low temperature, it's not saying anything. Okay, I guess it's the same. Uh, loops, let's see some loops. If they have any loops, we'll see. No loops, okay. Oh, today, okay. Today, today's loops. Let's go to Friday, tomorrow. Come on. Wednesday, today, okay. Friday, Sunday, Monday, okay. 
uh, as we progress. Okay, up to Sunday it's going to really be really hot. Okay, up to Sunday it's going to be really hot according to the loop. Anyway, I leave links below for you. For this, all of you there, please try and keep cool, hydrated. Um, drink a lot of cool smoothies. That's what I try and do. <laughs> banana and yogurt, banana and milk. Smoothies are nice. Salads are nice. And um, please take care of yourselves. Leave your comments. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you.